Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. All right, you guys, I hope you guys are doing good today. So I want to come on here and do an update on the whole Black China situation, okay? So as we all know, she has her new reality TV show called The Real Black China. The Real Black China, available now, only on Zeus. Which I have now, you know, changed the name to the damn The Struggle Continues, okay? Because this entire situation is a hot damn mess and a hot damn struggle. And they continue to film episodes as if this show wasn't supposed to be done filming months ago, okay? So what's going down now is that basically not only did Black China lose her so-called best friend Treasure, now she's literally lost her entire team. Except for the makeup artist, because he seems to not know which way he wants to go, okay? He seems very wishy-washy, like, I'm going to ride this Black China train till it falls off the damn tracks. Meanwhile, everybody else is jumping damn ship, okay? And like I said on Instagram, I don't feel bad for any of these people, because they knew what time it was. They knew who they were dealing with. They knew how this woman got down behind the scenes. But again, when everybody was chasing fame and fortune, when folks were trying to use her brand to come up, these are some of the things that can happen. And this is why you need to be careful in mind mindful of who you choose to mix your brand with because again everything that glitters is not gold okay oh anyways so what's going down is this basically in this episode of as the struggle continues black china is highly upset this is before her big wendy williams debut and so basically what happened is that black china is upset because her hair is not done her, her wig is you know it's not slayed to the gods her makeup is not looking right and she is going off on everyone you know you see freshie who is her pr person um well ex pr person He's there trying to, you know, console the situation, making sure she ate, basically trying to handle her with kitten gloves. And she flips out on him. She flips out on Jamal. Jamal is there. He's like the camera person. She flips out on the hairstylist. She's talking, you know, she's just talking down to everybody in just a really nasty, condescending way, okay? I'm going to go ahead and play you guys these clips. They might be kind of long, but fuck it, they're interesting. You ain't got nothing else to do, okay? So sip slow, enjoy this damn tea, and I'll be back with the rest of my damn commentary, okay? Uh-huh. Enjoy. <laughs> First of all, Ashton woke me up at fucking 6 o'clock in the motherfucking morning um, for no reason. Do you need anything from me? We got you flowers. We got you breakfast. I, well, we ordered breakfast. Was breakfast here yet? No. And, 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 uh... We went and got you some push pins. I got you double stick tape. I got you everything that you need, hem tape, so that we don't have to use the pins if we don't want to. And then I was gonna go over the PR for today, but we can do that on the way there so it's fresh on your mind. And I don't wanna be beating you down with the same no, information. No, let's talk about it now. Cause I don't wanna get it on the ride there. So pretty much, yeah. um, pretty much the questions are the same uh, ones that I sent you and that we went over. One of the main ones that I know for sure is probably going to be tricky just because of everything that we have going on um, from a law pers a legal perspective. Can't talk about it. We can't talk about, talk about, it. about, it. Yep. Can't um, talk about it. So it's people think um, you got with Rob Kardashian as, as revenge. Is this yeah, true? He got with me for revenge. We want to make sure that you answer that in a way that um, it's not I know how to answer legally. It. So. There's pieces of hair on my face. Okay, so I want I just want your answers to be as honest and genuine as possible yeah, from you. But I just what I don't want is Hold for on, sweetheart. Let me get this hair. What, what I don't want is I got hair on my face. To, no, let's let's get the hair out. Don't want anything to come back and bite us in the ass either. Listen, everything these questions I already answered on the Robin Chen show. Like I already I already did it. You feel me? I wanted to answer questions right. You never know, like people, they throw, they throw curveballs at you, being as though like I'm a celebrity. And this is kind of like how they use things to like kind of come at you and attack you. That's too short, babe. And yeah, we, and I need y'all to hurry because we, we about to hit nine o'clock. All right, look, you stand in front, you hold where he, no, that's all right. Let me just let him do his thing. So after Wendy, um, we have another interview, and I'm getting those questions for you, and that's at yeah, three. Just gotta um, okay. After Wendy, we have right here. Is this too low? That's good. That's good. I right, hold on. Can I pin this? Y'all gonna kill. Hold it here, Robert. <laughs> hold this up, fresh in the back. Mm -hmm. It's off the time. Yo, my goddamn. What? All right, listen to this. How about you tie and we pull it back? And this is like this pin is like on my. Let me hold that pin up. Yeah. Like, 
Yes, cousin. Yeah, that's what I said. Then you just do my makeup. Ashton! Last time we talked, mm -hmm. you were supposed to be dying that one black wig, and then we were supposed to be doing that one. Word. If I would have cut this black wig, I'd have been so fucking mad because mm -hmm. I was unaware that it was that black wig. And there's absolutely no way. I'm not a hairstylist, but there's absolutely no way we can make the hair not snag. No, no, no. no. Yeah. I know we, not I'm not letting you cut it, but there's no way we can. Is there not nothing that we can keep it from snagging? Snagging. Mm -hmm. No. Because the thing is, like she just said, it's a hard sequence. It. If it was like a saucer sure. sequence where it's just like the push down, it would not have stagged. But being as the hard one where it's up, yeah, it's gonna snag out here too much. When I saw like my hair was getting messed up, I knew that it would get stuck. If I don't have what I want and like a look, I'm not gonna fucking do it. You get what I'm saying? I know your last minute. It was another hairstyle that's supposed to came, and then another one. Here I am with the third one. And I still don't have what I want. Hello? I'm working on it. Extra mold. So we plan, I know. We've reached out to so many different people, so we had to get someone in New York because we had already got Stress on. Stress is here. We, we had already got on our things, and whoever we first found no, in like, New York. No, if you were in Miami, I'm not, nobody's calling you for that. Who else am I? Oh, let me call Alex for. I told him he called me in Miami. Well, who? Yeah. Jamal? Yeah. Well, what, where's Jamal? Jamal? Probably hiding somewhere. I don't know. What's up, babe? <clears throat> If my hair and my makeup, my outfit and shit don't look and come together, I'm not going on national TV. Well, you have to go. I don't have to do nothing. Well, the if my hair and makeup isn't right, no, I'm not gonna go. So at this point, like, I'm so, so, so mad. Why would I go on national TV looking stupid? You're not gonna look stupid. Sorry. I just wanna kind of deal with this on my own time. Like, just everybody just. Let me have my space. No, 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 I'm not doing Wendy Williams. I don't care. I'm not doing it. They fucked up everything. I'm out. So putting it to the other side. It can't go to the other side. Look what Wendy's glue. Her wig was made for a middle part. This is a middle part wig. Can you come on, babe? I'm irritated as fuck. Okay. What other wigs do I have? You have gray. You have gray. You have blue. Can you stop, please? Just pull them out. God damn. No. No. Oh, you know I love the bust down middle part. We always talk about that. No, we're not wearing none of those colors. I know, I'm pulling them out. That's how you can see them. Get the brown in the gold. Can we just go with the black bang? It's black china. Are you like insane no, or are you nuts? You know, I'm not a hair or makeup artist, so. Are you nuts? That's my throat. I'm drunk with it. It's like, what, 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 what shit is all the color on it? You see how I don't know shit about it. Should you stay with her? What do you mean, all? Oh. The fuck this? This? This with my fucking braids looking like this underneath? Please take this shit. You can finish it up there. I'm with you. I'm agreeing with you, China. I said, let's go. I said it five times. I gave you extra time. I made it so that your hair and makeup can be with you so you feel comfortable. I'm trying to make sure that you're as comfortable as fucking possible. First she stopped yelling at her though. I can't work for somebody who's working against me. i working against you, so I made this shit. Made me? Made me? Bitch, I have a, I have a 2,700 square foot office. I don't have to deal with this bullshit. I don't even know how much fucking time we have. Not honestly, I don't care because I will call Wendy and call all the bullshit off. I don't need this. I don't have to deal with this. I have people who treat me with motherfucking respect. Here's my shit. I'm going home and I'm canceling the motherfucking. If y'all have to work for that bitch. No, come on, Freshie. No, get those fucking cameras on my face. The Real Black China, available now, only on Zeus. Bitch, I need a second sip on that note. Damn. The struggle is real and so is the damn drama on the Real Black China show, okay? Y'all thought Tokyo Tony set it off when they had all that drama and going back and forth in the kitchen, honey? That's for me. I feel bad. No, no, you, you should. No, you should. You should. You just, no, because right now you fake. I know you've been through a lot. You've, I ain't been through shit. No. Only I, thing I've been honestly, through I'm not is faking. Take, you are I'm faking. Not. 
No, no, because I put all my energy, time, and everything else. Everybody get the else. fuck out of my house. No, it wouldn't be. So you just swear you the shit. The whole no, shit went. I wanted you. I wanted to see you. I've been asking for you. I heard, but this it's, is how, I, this I've is the treatment. I, I've been asking. This for is you. the treatment that oh you do. I've the been, only person I, that raised you, relax. that nurtured you. The new drama that Black China is creating with her team is, is is nothing compared to the Tokyo Tony drama, okay? We seen how she flipped on Treasure, Treasure accused of embezzlement. Oh, ain't nobody about to fucking go through all of that unfucking fucking I, I, I just I asked you a house. simple question. Fuck you and your house. Yeah, fuck you and your house. Exactly. No, exactly. That's my like friend. I don't want to talk to you on fucking camera. I want to talk to you as a fucking woman. But why you got to be all extra? Get out my face. Get out my house. China available now only on Zeus and then now she's cussing out her entire team and now this same team they're embarrassed they're scared that their brands are going to be tainted a lot of folks don't even know who the hell half these people are they're calling you know certain people makeup artists and they're not makeup artists they're calling other people hairstylists and they're not the hairstylists like I said Freshie's not a hairstylist he's her PR manager Jamal was the videographer he's not the makeup artist so anyways they both taken to social media and they're tired of the fuck shit Jamal has started a petition he wants everybody to cancel their Zeus account and matter of fact talking about Zeus one of my tea sippers they sent me some DMs basically saying that they paid their money to Zeus and that they're not getting the show and that when you go onto the Zeus uh, Instagram page to let them know that they have not received their package to watch the show Zeus is deleting comments so i don't know who's running zeus i'm hearing it's a black network but they need to get it together okay there's a lot of damn niggatry going on from this show to people ordering the show and not receiving their package because she sent me dms of her comment she went back to check her comment was gone so get it together zeus so anyhow i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what freshie had to say on social media because folks were dragging him they were also dragging jamal basically going in on their whole team like that's what y'all get why were you working with her other folks are like oh you guys are just trying to make black china look bad you guys are horrible she needs to fire you guys so at this point all their brands are looking really really shady right now and really bad so they're trying to defend themselves on social media jamal also posted a video of the police coming to like try to arrest him i mean this this entire situation is just crazy, okay? Y'all go ahead and check this out, and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. Shit, I'm going home, and I'm canceling the motherfucking. If y'all have to work for that bitch, no, come on, Freshie. No, get those fucking cameras on my face. Peace. I'm packing my shit and I'm flying home. I'm not doing that, and I will cancel everything else. I don't want my name associated with it because this is not how I run my business. In 17 million followers, you can't be like to a that. Network like, of you a billion can't people. be like that, bitch. I, I have. Three offices and they're all in code and they're all open. Like you just can't be like that. You can't do people like that. I'm, like you can't. I like, I'm good. I'd like to do good by people. So Freshie goes onto social media and he writes this. He says, let's be clear, I'm the reason why she went on to Wendy and why at Zeus Network got access to Wendy and had good PR. Keep playing with my business and my brand. The same press I gave y'all to succeed will be the same press I give y'all to end the bullshit. Stop playing with me. I've been peaceful. Let's be professional or let's be real. I'm good at both. Then somebody asks Freshie, they're like, Freshie, are you in China on talking terms? And Freshie replies back, he says, I haven't talked to her in weeks. The last time I spoke to her, she was on the phone with the network trying to get me to be a part of a fake church scene. <laughs> oh my God, they are spilling all the damn tea about the foolishness concerning this show, okay? So now um, another team member, like I told y'all before, Jamal Terrence, he's the videographer. He's been talking to the blogs as well. And so he posted this cryptic message and the message says, quote, when a toxic person can no longer control you, they will try and control how others see you. The misinformation will feel unfair, but stay above it. Trusting that other people will eventually see the truth just like you did. And then he goes on to say this. You really ended relationships with your team for a TV show. Pray she gets help. We've all tried. People only think about themselves at the end of the day. Then he goes on to say this. Let's tee up Jamal. Cancel, hashtag cancel Zeus. Zeus is a messy company. Don't pitch to them ever. This is the CEO who's allowing the police out her house to be filmed on camera for the show. Kinda just has to say, stop filming. Then he also goes on to show screenshots between him and one of the crew members. 
And the screenshots are saying this. Keep your head on straight, brother. You're an amazing person. Lots of success in your future. He replies back. He says, thanks, bro. Honestly, I can't even believe something I pitched turned into this. Then they go on to say, sorry, it all turned out like this, brother. Keep in touch. Today was sad for me, bro. So I can only imagine how it was for you. Then he also went on to post a call sheet showing that the show um, is heavily scripted. And then he wrote this. You ain't working until you done work so hard. You lost relationships, lost money, lost friends because deep down, because they deep down don't like that you're passing them up. If this ain't your life, you ain't really trying to do this shit. Only certain people gonna understand this. Everybody else gonna take it the wrong way. Now on top of that, Freshy also stated this. He says, I didn't get paid not one dime. I've been silent and professional this whole time. Zeus was just begging me to film last week. Y'all have no idea of what I did and dealt with working for her. I've never been fired. I left because of emotional... <laughs> I love because of emotional distress. Please stop tagging me. <laughs> Honey, I can't. You know what? I, I can't. This is just a bunch of damn mess. Now everybody's dealing with emotional abuse, emotional distress. So everybody did all this and y'all weren't even getting a check. Nobody got paid. This is insane, and this is what they do in Hollywood. They will use you and use you and then spit you out and then move on to the next victim, to the next team. These are people who are supposed to be cool with her. Like I said, not even a month ago, they were all on the red carpet promoting this show, taking pictures. That's why I always say everything that glitters is not gold. A lot of these friendships are not genuine. They weren't built on anything genuine. They were built on convenience. And not everybody's seeing Black China for who she really is. And once again, it shows that the apple does not fall far from the tree, okay? And a lot of the stuff, not the abusive shit, that Tokyo Tony was saying, but a lot of the other stuff when she was talking about her daughter's character, how much her daughter has changed, how she's allowed this whole, you know, fame thing to go to her head, Tony wasn't lying about that. So this entire situation is just really, really crazy. And I think at the end of the day, this show did not help Black China. It really did show the real Black China, but not in the way that she wanted it to show. And when it's said and done, when the fame is fleeting and you have nobody else in your corner, you're gonna be really sad. Because Treasure was a genuine friend to her of 13 years, and now they're not even cool. And Treasure took to Instagram Live yesterday, and she was saying how a lot of this stuff was scripted. They kept wanting her to keep saying that Black China is my best friend. And, you know, Treasure went along with it. And As dealing with the relationship fallout between me and Black China, I did not fall out with Angela White. I fell out with Black China. I am convinced that she maybe doesn't have the best company around her at this time which is probably influencing some of her decisions or actions or maybe she has no control of them whatsoever i was blind shot sided with the show i was told that we were supposed to be talking about something completely different however the conversation never went that way and I was, I did say some things that I truly wish, I personally wish I never went on live right after seeing the first clip because I was emotional. I'm not usually a person who responds under emotional distress, but I was more pissed off because she wasn't answering the phone for me. And that's just, I just thought we were better than that. Through life, you realize sometimes maybe you just wasn't better than that. And that's okay too. Um, I do not regret anything that I have done for her. I do, however, uh, feel as though maybe I could have not been so easily receptive as I was told to say certain things. Flat out, I was told to say certain things on the show. I was told to act a certain way. Um, to just to just give a little bit of relevance. Me personally, everyone who I'm not that person who is all, oh, hey, this is my best friend. This is my best friend. This is my best friend. It's just it's kind of annoying and it does get kind of redundant. So I feel the people who are saying, oh, treasure, she does too much. She's in China's business, blah, 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 blah. But to be honest, I was asked to be there. 
I was asked to be in her business. I was asked any and everything that I was a part of. I don't just interject myself into anything. And that's why I'm saying, like, not everybody wants to play victim. Everybody's talking about they're, you know, they're stressed and, and, and depressed and going through stuff. But a lot of y'all signed on to this show, knowing that a lot of it was going to be staged and scripted. Y'all went along with it. Y'all went along with the drama. See, it was cool when everybody was exporting Tokyo Tony. It was cool when y'all was putting her out there as the crazy woman. How much you want to do? I mean, I know she don't like me for whatever reason. Because every time, like, you put her out, I don't know if she's jealous of our relationship Let me say this. or whatever it is. In order for her to repair a relationship with her mom, whatever you guys got going on, even if it's not you, in her head, she thinks y'all have a problem. Y'all have to repair that first before she can ever repair a relationship with her mom. You know, I have been nothing but supportive to her, even when she come around, like, I, are you good? Do you, you know what I'm saying? Like, I've never been disrespectful to her, back all the way, all the way back to Austin Hinkle. Gotcha. In, in like, her it ain't never been no issue. Right. In her head, it's something going on, and we can't have the best friend beefing with the mom and the daughter beefing with the mom. You know what I mean? The mama is beefing with the mama. Yeah. <laughs> but then when Black China decided to exploit y'all, in the same way that y'all helped to exploit her mother, now everybody's mad. So again, this entire situation is just insane. But kudos to Jamal for standing up to Black China. She's not satisfied with her hair. She wasn't really satisfied with her nails. Well, you have to go. I don't have to do nothing. Well, the if my hair and makeup isn't right, no, I'm not gonna go. So at this point, like, I'm so, so, so mad. Well, how are you? I'm Kristen. Welcome. Love to see you. How you doing? <laughs> Are you worried about the investigation at all, China? China, can you be proven innocent? If you really pull the knife, China. I'm on my way up there, and I'm just like, I just cannot believe what has happened. And it's just like so unorganized, and I'm so mad. I'm just like hoping that she doesn't try me. Please welcome the one and only Black China. <laughs> Honestly, all I'm thinking about is like, don't fall. Yeah, so people like Freshie walking off who got the credentials for the show. Nobody know what the fuck is going on until we get there. Freshie is the only person that know. Freshie want to walk off. Now who the fuck do we call to say, oh, this need to be done. This need to be done. This is need to be done. Like, those are the things that we can't can't have. And if Freshie would have walked away and said, I'm fucking done with this interview. I don't want to do this shit anymore. Been, you fucking like my name fucking up. You fucking this either. up. And that I could have been like, like, my hair is all fucked up and my makeup I done cried off. And what the fuck? But all said, of, fuck it too. But all those things could have been prevented. Those like right, those things okay, could have so been overlooked. Fault. Great. We're it's, not it's, saying it's, 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 it's. Come on, let me finish. Let me just say this. No, uh, you have to. Just it was this. it was your fault. Like, let me just say this. It's a little bit of everybody. It's a no, little bit of no, everybody. It's a little bit of everybody it, fault. The talent is the person. Yes, the hairstylist right, so is like, on, if the hairstylist is like every day, we can't say, oh, we can't go because the hairstylist is like, if food is not here, we can't blame it on food because I haven't eaten. Nobody yeah, ate that morning. Yeah, the fucking talent should have that shit too. If that's, if that's all I'm asking, it's for food. That's it. Okay. Like food? But what? A five like, minute delay in food? That's ridiculous no. to do all, right, all so of that. So y'all right, y'all right, y'all. So what do you want me to say to make it better for you? Over there. You know what okay. I'm saying? Because the time that we okay, spent... Okay, we're going back so into, so we're going so back into a yesterday moment. We're going back well, into I'm a yesterday sure, moment. Let's, sure. let's 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 find a common ground and try to agree to disagree because what we don't need is... I don't think her. there's a, a agree to disagree. There was a problem that happened. It's like if All you right, have okay. a sore so, uh, so and you right go now, and put Vaseline start, right? and then you go put alcohol, just put a fucking Band-Aid over it so it, it can heal. Like, we can't say it was no, this and it was that. Actually, you got to let air hit it so it heal. You can't put a Band-Aid over it. I'm sorry. Help me out, Nasha, because we're going back. It never healed that way, just to let you know. And... Let air hit that bitch. I get it. I just feel like the, that is true, though. the time that we Can't spent doing all of that, we could just put our game face on and move forward. I agree. That was almost an That's hour. What I, did. I, I agree. So when, hour I, when and I put my pants on and I said, let's go, everybody should have left. I, I, but we have okay. no. Do you remember? Yes. Remember I, when I had but, my hair? Kudos to Jamal for speaking the real and, you know, not letting Black China just walk all over him. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad that eventually everybody walked away and, you know what I'm saying, to decide to keep their dignity and decide that their dignity was worth a lot more than to continue to be talked down to and abused by some woman. At the end of the day, we're all human and you have to treat people with the same respect that you want for yourself. 
Point blank, period. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire messy situation, honey. Once again, concerning Black China and her going off on her team and her team basically now jumping ship because now they're seeing who the real Black China is. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Do you feel bad for any of these people? Or do you feel like, you know what, these folks signed up for this, so it is what it is. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces.